What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. Um, lacking the collar. and I got my liquidity services hat on. So this video is going to be a little weird. I have been recovering from a procedure for a little while now. Uh, the last video was filmed several days ago and I was really hopped up. I shouldn't say the last video. Let me rephrase that. The clip that you're about to see was filmed several days ago. I was really hopped up on painkillers and all kinds of other, like a cocktail, like six different types of medications. But I had to come in here to ship eBay orders because, well, my employees aren't trained on eBay. But I want to talk about the freedom that this business offers. Let me set you down because my arm is getting tired already. On an unrelated note, how expensive can it be to ship me two of these every single week plus a third one to my house? I mean, seriously, you line, come on. They send me so much of this. It just goes right in the recycling bin because uh, so this is addressed to my company, Warehouse. Um, the other one's the other way around. Warehouse and then my company. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, one is addressed to me. One is addressed to manager of shipping department. So, um, anyways, I don't know what the one to my house is addressed to. I just noticed that because I've got a stack of mail here since I haven't been here in several days. Uh, freedom. Because of this business, I have the freedom to just not be here. Uh, the past, oh man, a week, week and a half, something like that, two weeks, I have been here very little. And when I went in for the procedure, that's when I hadn't been in here since. I haven't even driven since. This Driving here today is my first time driving in quite a while. I was a little nervous about that. This business allows me the freedom to do that and still make money. As you're going to see in the clips coming up, I've already filmed and we'll show you after this uh, what I shipped out when I was really hopped up on pain pills. And after that, you'll see what I'm filming today. Very confusing. Uh, all the stuff that I'm going to be shipping out today. It's Sunday and I'm going to be shipping stuff out today to kind of get caught up. Hopefully I'll be able to come back to work on a relatively normal schedule again, but I'll probably still be out for a decent amount for at least a week, you know, in and out, lesser than normal. Um, but because of that, I have been able to do, oh, what, maybe $1,000 in sales on eBay over the course of, you know, just the, the past week when I wasn't here on Amazon. Uh, let's see, $3,192 in sales. And that it didn't even need to ship out. That is an amazing thing. It's like paid time off if I had a job, but a lot more coming in, a lot more freedoms. I was able to do that while laid up on my couch for the past week on pain pills and all this other garbage. Additionally, I've got a brick and mortar business here. Customers come in and whatnot. Um, and my staff is, they, they run that. I've got one guy. Uh, he's the manager of the brick and mortar business. We call him the supreme leader and he really stepped it up and I was basically completely hands off, answered a couple of questions. He'd messaged me here and there over the course of the week, but for the most part, he was able to run the show here by himself. There were some issues, not so much his fault, just issues that we still have to resolve this week. But overall, I was able to just let it go and focus on recovery, which is an amazing part of this business and probably one of the best, I would take a pay cut, and this was my thought process when I first started in this industry, um, taking a pay cut, but being able to check out of work periodically and not have to worry about it if something comes up, if I need to leave town or if I'm sick or something like that. And that's a wonderful part about this business. Uh, big shout out to The College Picker. Definitely check him out, he's a YouTuber. Most of you probably already know who he is, he's a YouTuber who does eBay and, I don't know. Eric, do you do Amazon anymore? I don't think he does. Maybe he does. I don't know. He does a lot of eBay. Uh, he does a lot of Etsy. Still never got into that, but um, definitely check him out. He's a pharmacist by trade. He goes to different rural parts of the country to kind of fill in for people as a pharmacist. Apparently he gets paid a lot of money to do that. And he was my pharmacist through this whole process. Not the one that dispensed the medication maybe because he's like 2,000 miles away uh, but he's the one who assisted me in it I was very nervous to take painkillers and tried to suffer through the pain without because well a couple of reasons number one I've never taken them before I don't know if I'm gonna get loopy or sick motion sick whatever I really don't want to be vomiting 
well in all this pain. And number two, because, well, I don't want to get addicted. I've heard horror stories of taking these pills and from a surgery or from a procedure and you're instantly addicted. Um, oh, there's a history of substance abuse in my family, which I would rather not follow. And I also have a very addictive personality. Oh, that's good. So I really didn't want to become addicted. So he kind of helped me, you know, walk me through how I should take it and what I should, you know, recommend and what I should ask for. Uh, going back to the doctor asking for something to help with the pain. Um, and that helped me out a lot. He told me what pills I can take with it, what ones I shouldn't, you know, over the counter stuff that might help. Definitely pays to know a pharmacist. Um, so if you want free medical advice, talk to the college picker. No, I'm kidding. Don't, don't do that because he's going to hate me forever. Uh, but anyways, just want to show my appreciation to him for that. Now, without any further ado, oh, and by the way, I'm fine now. There's no, I might need to go in for another possibly much more painful procedure, but it's nothing life threatening. I don't want anyone to worry about that. Um, a couple months, I'll be perfectly fine again. Uh, worst case, a couple months, I'll be perfectly fine again. The only thing that really worries me about this is it may impede my trip to Austin, which is in a few weeks. Uh, that's going to be tight because Shopko's are closing in a couple of weeks and then Austin's like I'll be flying to Austin right after I close down those Shopko stores. So anyways, it's really dusty here. I have not been here. I've been here once in like a week and a half and I was a little. So I really didn't see much. I should get to work. I've got some orders to ship. So I'm going to start filming that. But before you see what sold up until this point, you're going to see what sold last week up until that. Man, this is confusing. I'm not filming in the same order you're watching. Anyways, there were a lot of orders that shipped out late. Um, I do have two-day handling time on my stuff uh, to protect against stuff like this. So I was able to kind of protect myself there. But I still had a handful of orders go out late. Most of them were first class, so I was able to upgrade them to priority to avoid some of the defects of it not arriving on time. But uh, today, I don't believe I have any going out late. I'm feeling much better, although I didn't really sleep much last night because I was in pain. Uh, let's see, where is the eBay app? Ship by Wednesday, June. Oh, nothing needs to go until next Wednesday, so we're good. Anyways, go. let's go back to sick rabbit. And then I'm recovery rep. Check, watch, watch that stuff. So one of the few times you'll see me without a nice collared shirt on. I have been out sick for a couple days. I am all hopped up on pain pills and in a lot of pain. So this is going to be a quick update on sales. But I've got 18 orders that need to go out. I came in just for this. For a total of 607. Starting at the bottom, I sold this Dymo. It does not work. It's sold for parts for $22.99. And this keychain electronic football for $14.99. I bought these because I thought they were cool. Turns out they're worth a couple bucks, but they sell very slowly. This was a pretty neat sale. This is a brand new factory sealed GE clock radio. I couldn't find any comps on Amazon or eBay, so I listed it. Uh, just for the heck of it, for 60 bucks, and it sold. It took a couple months, but 60 bucks, I couldn't have paid more than five bucks for it. Got an ink cartridge here. Got this out of the Shopco liquidation. Sold for 39.99. Next, BB02 right here. A swimsuit top. Sold for 10 bucks. Came with the Target stuff. I mean, it cost me 50 cents. You've probably seen these, because I put a lot of my faster moving stuff on this shelf. Uh, these are brand new Dictaphone foot pedals. Uh, could not find much on eBay or Amazon for them. I, I priced them high, probably like 50 or 60 bucks each. So I'm going to put an offer for 20 but they'll take all three of them. So it would be 60 bucks for all three. Clear some space on the shelf, and they've been in here forever, so I decided to let them go. I got 20 bucks for this. It is for direct TV. It's just a receiver of some sort with a power cable. So for 20 bucks. Now, everything that I've pulled so far is actually overdue. It was supposed to go out yesterday on June 4th. Today's June 5th. Uh, I can't even drive myself though. And for some reason, I thought that this stuff was due today, shipped by June 5th. 
Let me see what it looks like on the eBay app because I don't log into eBay on my computer at home. Uh, so I'm pulling this up here. Uh, nope, says shipment overdue. So maybe I was just really out of it when I was looking at this. Anyways, all of these things are overdue, which is going to really hurt my metrics. But a lot of this stuff would have gone first class. I can bump it up to priority, meaning it will actually likely arrive sooner than they would have expected because it was supposed to go out yesterday. It's now going out today, a day late. But it's being bumped from three to five days to one to three days. So should uh shouldn't affect my metrics too much um the big one is arrival time uh the other one that will be affected is when tracking is uploaded unfortunately there's not much i can do about it but yeah i was in no shape to come in i can't drive right now i'm on a liquid diet so um so anyways, that is not everything that's sold. That's just the overdue stuff. So I'm going to ship that out so I don't mix up what's getting bumped up to priority and what isn't. And then we'll move on to the rest of the orders that are not overdue, that are due today, tomorrow, and Friday. Here's a little bonus. All of this stuff was supposed to go first class. That's not. That's my phone. All of this stuff was supposed to go first class, except for that. Now, obviously, that and these are... Yeah, this should be over a pound. As a set, that's definitely going to be over a pound. So that's going to help my metrics, too. This is the only item that's actually going to arrive late. All right, now let's get to the rest of the stuff. There should be, I think it's going to be in this box, another Kohler part going out. And I believe it's going to be one of these. Uh, toilet covers. These are, uh, if I can hold it, uh, this should be the cap that goes over the bolt at the base of the toilet. There's two of them and there's two bases in here and the other one's underneath there. Um, what did I get for this? Sold for $11. Uh, coming back over here, I think it's over here somewhere. Uh, let's see, up here maybe. There it is. This flight computer sold for seven bucks. Not a great sale, but I got it with a whole bunch of other aviation stuff. Took an offer on this. It's part of an invisible fence for a dog. I got, oh, if I can pick it up right, 50 bucks for it. I paid, I don't know what I paid. I think I bought this on a video. Couldn't have been much. My memory isn't all the way there right now. Uh, sold within a day or two. Took an offer for 16 on, you know, it would have helped if I put these, oh, I didn't put them together. This one, the antenna's loose. I don't know if it was like that and I didn't realize it or if I broke it by cramming it into this bag. That one's perfectly fine, so I decided to sell them separately. Uh, I got 16 bucks for it, I think I paid three each. Got 25 bucks for this. This is an empty box uh, for an Xbox 360 uh, for the Star Wars version. Someone would want this as a display piece, most likely. Sold for 25 bucks. Here's a good one. Sold this gaming thing for 100. 99.99. It is a Razer Hydra. Uh, sold almost instantly, and it is going overseas. Um, I got it basically for nothing. It was a throw-in with those two Oculus Rifts that I sold. Sold a couple of chargers. Again, pretty much instantly. Sold this with Craftsman for 30 and it does have the manual, which I don't think I pictured that because I think I found the manual after I had listed it. And there should be another one over here that I listed the same day. I'm drawing a blank here. I also listed that skill one down there the same day, but that is not the one that I'm looking for. Oh, if I had a sound mind today, I would probably be able to find it much quicker. All right, I'm going to put this down so I can look a little more closely. Here it is hiding right in here, this little dingy craftsman. I got 50 bucks for this one. So even if it looks crappy, still look it up. Uh, this, again, sold almost instantly. Uh, both of the craftsman items, two separate buyers. They weren't the same buyer or anything. Uh, they just listed around the same time and sold around the same time. I got 40 bucks, 39.99 for this Leap Motion Controller. This is like a hand movement tracker for uh, VR. 
and it is in fact used, uh, but it's in amazing condition inside. I didn't even bother testing it because this thing looks like it was probably never used. Hopefully it doesn't get returned. Um, but it was also something that I got with the Oculus Rift units that I sold. So here's one that I'm not sure I'm gonna give much for. Um, sold this for I think 12, uh, but I can't just throw this in a bubble mailer. It's a battery and the charger for a swivel sweeper. I had actually sold the swivel sweeper locally, you know, in a local auction, and uh, well, that was the plan. Turns out it didn't have uh, an important piece, so this just kind of sat. I almost threw it away, and then I thought maybe this is worth something on eBay. So I uh, listed it, sold a few days later for 12 bucks. And lastly, this was an exciting one. Uh, these random cables here, I got 35 bucks for them, 34.99. These came with. Oh, I already sold it. Uh, I got a Sony system. They came with these speakers. The uh, subwoofer, I don't even know what, I think I donated that. And the receiver with a DVD player I sold for some 50 or 100 bucks, something like that on eBay shortly after listing it. But these are the cables, $34.99. If you remember, I paid 10 bucks for the whole shebang. And that is a bunch of mess over there and everything going out on my sick day. All right, recovery rabbit back here. The same resale rabbit you saw in the beginning of this video. I've got nine sales for $369. You know, not a lot of exciting things, but some bread and butter items. I've got, I think this is it. Ends in 400, yes, this is it. An Epson projector remote. I got this for nothing and with a bundle of remotes that I had laying around, uh, sold for seven. So honestly, after shipping and fees, I'm gonna get like a dollar or two for it. Here's my thought process. I'm already shipping stuff out. It's gonna take like zero extra time to ship it. These things that I'm shipping it in, I got for free. So it's gonna cost me nothing in materials to ship. And so I have a choice, it's already listed. I can make a dollar or two or I can throw it in the trash. It's been listed for long enough. Let's sell it. Coming over here, I think this is it. Yes, took an offer on this barcode scanner, 20 bucks. Notice it is not USB, it's a serial scanner. So you need an adapter or an old, this is an old scanner. I'm excited it sold because there were no comps, none active, none sold, or maybe there were some active and none sold, I don't know. I do remember listing this, it was a while ago. I was debating, should I list it? Should I just throw it out? I don't know, I got in a box full of other barcode scanners. I decided to list it and lo and behold, it sold. Now, since I don't have a way to test that, it is untested. This thing is in amazing condition though. I'd be very surprised if it didn't work. So I'm taking the risk, assuming it works. Next, I sold some ink. I got $180 for this. Oh, wait, that's not right. $180 for six of them. I sold all six of them, 30 bucks a piece. I paid, I think 16 each. Uh, Shopco liquidation. The only reason I got this ink that cheap, because ink is not marked down very much, is because it was on clearance. Clearance was marked down quite a bit more. All right, we've got an eye pack next. Right here. This is a uh, handheld PDA, uh, HP. I sold it for 40 bucks. I got a bunch of them in varying conditions a while back for, I think, two bucks each. Um, that probably paid for all of them. Here's an, a Canon ink cartridge, sold for $17.99. It is an actual Canon ink cartridge. It is factory sealed. It's just missing the cardboard box on the outside. Now, I'm pretty sure I got this from a garage sale in one of the videos. I think it came with some Guitar Hero guitars and some other stuff, if I remember right. I don't remember. I'm also pretty sure this came in the box with some paper, and I threw that stuff away because I can ship it much cheaper on its own. Also, the branding on the box was for the black and the colored ink cartridges. I just had the black one, so I didn't want to confuse anyone by selling, listing it with the box. Next is probably the best item that I have sold off of those Target pallets. We want AA14. This is the AA box. Now that's 1.5, so it's got to be right over here. 11, 14, there we go. Uh, this is a swimsuit. I sold this one for $24.99. Full price. They didn't even make an offer. Um, the reason I listed this one so high, you can kind of see it. Let me show you. Where most of these retail is like 20 to 25 bucks, this one retail is 50. So I decided to uh, shoot for the stars and go half retail, 24.99, and it sold. 
And you saw there were a few other ones in there. They're the same thing, just different sizes. Uh, I think, yeah, I only had one in this particular size. So I paid 50 cents for it, sold it for 25 bucks. And it's gonna cost me like three bucks to ship, if that. Uh, this Target stuff, you know, a lot of people gave me a lot of crap for listing them on eBay, but I have not listed a lot and they're moving pretty well. I've probably listed maybe 100 units on eBay and sold maybe 40. I've done really well with this so far. All right, next sale is another truck GPS. Right, let's move this guy out of the way. Right here. Now, I sold one of these the other day. I'm not sure if I that's on video or not. I filmed, remember, I have a whole bunch of stuff filmed that I haven't been able to edit because I haven't had time. So I don't know if I filmed it and it's sitting on a computer somewhere or not, but I sold one of these for like 180 bucks, different model, but it was a truck GPS. This one sold for 50 and it does work because uh, of the USB cable. I got both of these for, I think maybe five bucks for both, if that. Truck GPS is definitely worth looking for. Unlike the Garmin you have in your car, this does a lot more. It'll show you truck routes. It'll, it has like a log where you can log your miles. Professional truck drivers also are only allowed to drive a certain amount of hours per day. This is uh, a federal regulation or state regulation. So I'm not a truck driver. I don't know. There's some law saying they can only drive a certain amount of hours per day. That GPS helps keep track of that. Uh, so it's a lot better than your typical Garmin or TomTom. Tom. Truck drivers will buy those and it looks like they'll pay a lot. That one sold for 50. And if I remember right, this one had an issue on the screen. There we go, uh, right there. Screen flickers when touching the bottom right corner. It does not appear to affect functionality. It only happens for a second. I also said satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. It's not a huge deal, but it's something that is worth mention. And that, also the fact that it's a slightly different model, is probably why this one sold for 50 and the other one sold for, I think, like 180. All right, next sale is to a viewer. Bill bought one of these lucky brand keychains so here it is brand new in the box i've got forty thousand of these still trying to find a way that i can actually sell these um i've been trying to wholesale them forty thousand total for like a quarter a piece uh, but they have to buy all of them uh, but they're moving here he gave me an offer 10 bucks for this one and i accepted it he also sent me a note when he put his offer and i screenshotted it let me get that ready he said, hey, I'm a reseller and a fan. Is it possible to get a signed card like you did in your video? One card for me and one for my girlfriend. Thank you and best wishes in your business. Will, I certainly appreciate the purchase. Um, I will give you, it sounds like he's asking for two signed cards. I will do that. But Will is going to be the last person that gets multiple signed cards. Uh, next thing you know, people are going to be asking for 10 of them. Uh, you guys get one per order from now on. You're lucky I'm signing them. But um, anyways, Will, I certainly appreciate the purchase. Um, if you guys are just buying these keychains just for the sake of supporting the channel, hey, that's better than nothing. I certainly appreciate that, um, but I appreciate the purchase. Uh, I got 10 bucks for that, and I will sign a card, two cards for you. There you go. Can you imagine if he bought these, like, last earlier this week or last week, and I was really hopped up on pain pills trying to sign that? Now, here's something important to know. I don't drink, like, at all. So, and I get motion sick very easily. That's one of the main reasons why I don't drink. So being on these painkillers, I was really loopy. I still haven't actually looked at the footage of, um, of that you just saw of when I was doing that. Hopefully it's not too embarrassing, but um, it would have been interesting to have to sign a card for a viewer. Hopefully the orders at least are going to the right place. Last sale, kind of. I'll get to that in a minute. We're looking for... Oh, is it A A O H or A O H? I'm not good at this. I've got bin A and bin A A. A or A A. I feel like I'm Canadian today. Let's let's go with A. I think that's what it was. Uh, let's see, where are we? That's A O four, A O six, A O A O eight. You know that's not it because the thing was entirely pink. So, double A O eight. E. Uh, in here somewhere. 04. I think it goes bright pink like this. There's an 07. Here's another one. E E 008. Uh, th that doesn't exist. That's just my screw up when I was writing it. By the way, this is a horrible way to organize these. 
Uh, but I was only listing like maybe 50, 25 to 50, somewhere in that range, probably closer to 50. And um, that, that's what I had at the time. If I were to go in and list the 11,000 pieces, we, we would do something a little different. Anyways, full price, $14.99. Again, came from the Target stuff for 50 cents. Now, that's the last item, kind of. While I was doing all of this, I had another sale. So let's refresh this page and uh, get that extra sale. Correction, I got two extra sales. So 11 orders, a total of $452. So this, I'm pretty sure is this here, M5000, uh, M5000. This is a cassette recorder. I sold this for 50 bucks. It works, I thought it didn't work. Turns out to record, you have to press both play and record at the same time. Um, I, it took me a while to figure that out. So what I did is I made a little note and put it on there so the buyer will know that too and not return it saying it's defective. I get this with a whole bunch of other tape recorders and uh, similar items. I probably had it for a good six months maybe now. Maybe not quite that long. It's been a while. I don't remember what I paid for it. But I, it wasn't much. Uh, one other sale. This one's exciting because I did not think this was going to sell. I also have absolutely no clue where this thing is because I've had it for probably well over a year and it could be anywhere. It's small. I sure hope it's here somewhere. It might take me a minute to find it. So I think I'm going to do that off camera. Okay, not one second after shutting off the video, I found it. It's right here. This Ernie finger puppet, puppet finger poop it. Uh, brand new, factory sealed boxes, really, or packaging is really rough. This is like from the 80s, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, there you go, 1980. So this thing is, what's that, 40 years old, just about? This thing is almost 40 years. Holy crap, 1980 was 40 years ago, almost. Anyways, so this, uh, I sold it for $29.99. The reason I'm excited, I did not think this was going to sell. I found this in a storage unit. Uh, there were some used ones selling for like five bucks, but they were selling. So I figured, you know what? Let's list this thing. I listed it for 30 bucks and it just sold. Full price, didn't take an offer or anything. 30 bucks. So sometimes weird stuff will sell. Now this was probably a year ago. This is one of the first storage units that I actually filmed or not. I might not have even filmed it. I don't know. Um, this was a unit that had a ton of toys. There were some coins, some stamps. Um, I bought it for 50 bucks just for the milk crates that the books were in and ended up doing really well on it. There was a lot of My Little Pony stuff from the 80s that I, that I shipped out, that I sold on eBay. Um, a lot of decent stuff in there. This was in it. The fact that I remember that just baffles me. So that's an additional between that and wherever I put the tape recorder. It's an additional 80 bucks in sales just while I was filming. What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. So busy day today as usual. I shipped out 255 units for, from the Office Depot stuff. Uh, that went out the door today and I've got eight eBay orders to show you. Total sales of $217. First sale, you saw this in the video that I filmed yesterday, although it was not yesterday's video. Here it is, not the one with the batteries. This one, and then I gotta grab the cord for it. Uh, this came from Toys R Us. Oh, 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 and there goes that. All right. So this came from Toys R Us, along with those price guns that still haven't sold. Um, anyways, I got it for free. It is the charger for these. These are also chargers for them. These are not really moving. I sold a few, but in one of these days when I have time, I'm going to lot them all in one big lot just to move them. But anyways, I already made my money back and all that stuff. This was a throw-in that I actually wasn't sure I was getting. Sold it for 20 bucks. Uh, oh, more Toys R Us stuff sold today. Let's see. I've got one of these and one of these. This is the price checker. One of them has the top piece and one doesn't. I'm gonna need two hands for this. And here we go. I got 35 for this one and 58 for that one. They're both going to the same buyer. I don't remember what I paid for them. It wasn't much, 15 or 20 bucks each. Again, something that didn't quite work out. I was hoping to get about 100 to $150 each for them. Turns out I am getting 
apparently less because these are the first ones that I've sold. And I've had them for about a year. Toys R Us closed 11 months ago. Another freebie that I got. This sold for 30 bucks. It's an AC adapter for some medical thing. This came from one of the hospitals. I actually, it came with, I want to say, one of these maybe, and it doesn't actually go to it. Maybe something else. But nonetheless, sold for 30 bucks. Uh, got another one of these sold. Last couple left here. This is an external ringer for a phone. Sold it for $19.99, and I got a whole bunch of these on those Amazon pallets last year. Uh, they've been trickling through. I'd say probably an average of one a week. But sometimes I'll sell four in a week. Sometimes I won't sell any for like three weeks. Sold this lady for 20 bucks. Is there a price on it? No, I don't know what I paid. It wasn't much. I've got a whole bunch of them. And that weird looking guy there. This is genuine Carrara. I don't know. Marble made in Italy. Uh, here you can say Depose Italy has the model number for the clown. Interesting little thing. Sold this Rockenbach dump truck for nine bucks. I paid 50 cents or a dollar for it. It was in one of my videos. Pretty sure a Milwaukee video. It was actually a viewer who asked for two signed cards. Oh, I feel like starting to do signed cards is gonna be annoying. Either way, I will oblige. So Melody, I certainly appreciate your purchase. Um, I'm very bad at sounding grateful, but I really do appreciate when you guys, the viewers, come and buy stuff from me. It really does mean a lot, and it does help support the channel. I will get your two signed cards out with this today. As I'm holding it, it feels like it's going to be more than a pound, though, so I might break even on it. Here, let's check it on the scale. The, oh, yeah, that's going to be over a pound. Bummer! Oh, well. Um, probably going to try and ship it. Why did that turn off so fast? I'd like to try put this in a flat rate padded mailer, but I really don't think this is going to hold up in it. So it's probably going to go cubic rate. I don't know if I'm going to be saving a whole lot compared to uh, regional A or just regular priority mail, which is the same price, one to two pounds as a regional box. All right, one final order. Sold the last battery here, $24.99. I think I had like six or seven of them. I thought I priced them high. Apparently I didn't because they sold pretty fast. It's a shame because I could probably use those, but money is more important. I'd rather get 25 today and spend it six months from now when I might need one. So that's today's orders. As of now, I am so far behind on videos that I am probably going to merge this one with tomorrow's sales. So moving on to future rabbit, the rabbit of tomorrow. Here's a little Amazon shipment I just did. Uh, spent 298 bucks. I'm gonna profit 392, a little more than double my money. It's only uh, 13 items that I got from Shopco the other day. Well, I'm at the post office. It wasn't doing this when I went in. Holy crap, it is like a monsoon out here. Hoping that lets up in the next like two minutes. Otherwise, I've got a makeshift umbrella.